Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at these brand new Spark cards coming today here in NBA 2K24. My team talking about which ones are worth grinding for and which ones maybe not quite as much here in my team today. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and let's discuss these brand new cards. So we got four Opals, Trevor Ariza, Tyson Chandler, Brent, uh, Brandon Pajemski, Tobias Harris, and then also Dark Matter, Zion Williamson, and Jeremy Lin. All of these cards are both pullable, but also grindable. They will be agendas for them. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, the Dark Matters are not as exciting to me as the Opals. I know I generally would not say that, but these two Dark Matters, I don't think either of them are all that good. Regardless, the Opals are exciting. We'll start with Tobias Harris. I think he's the least exciting of the Opals, quite simply because he's only 6'7 with a 6'11 wingspan at small forward. So he doesn't have unbelievable size but also while he's an elite level shooter and they did actually soup up his defense a bit as well with anchor brick wall and the bone forcer clamps fast feet glove and rights to gripper maybe the seven most important defensive badges in the game and every single defensive badge on at least gold this card's good he needs unpluckable wish he had half handles for days wish he had better slashing badges um I, I, he's going to be a very good three and d basically is what he is his sigs i mean step escape step behind the back not awful his release is super smooth though he's a versatile ish defender pretty solid defender like this card is not bad he's just not unbelievably elite there's already a bunch of free small forwards today and i think honestly pj washington looks a bit better so tobias harris is good but we also have marcus morris and pj washington coming out today as well as even that dark matter aaron gordon and freaking zion like tons of free small forward options i don't think tobias harris is that elite i think he's a really solid three and d though the other three opals are the ones that i'm really excited about starting with pajemski who if y'all have used his emerald y'all know how excited i am about this card and y'all understand why because his emerald was my favorite emerald card i have used all year bar none 27 hoffs 33 gold badges you got decent but not great finishing now gold post rather precision dunker it'd be nice if that was better but that's okay 90 driving dunk he'll throw it down enough shooting badges are very good playmaking badges are also very good he's got blow by handles for today's hyperdrive speed booster which is really what's important to me uh and then he's got gold unpluckable which is also important defensively no movable enforcer at all is a flaw and it's a decently big flaw at this point in the year it prevents him from being a truly top tier point guard but he is still an okay defender besides that and i do think offensively this card is going to be electric kemba escape hard and behind the back are solid movement Kyrie dribble style pro two fade and an elite level release this card will be very fun to use and the fact that he's got super solid slashing ability as well and isn't a horrible defender does help this card i think he might be I was going to say, I think he might be the best point guard in today's drop, but I'm not entirely sure if that's true, but I could definitely see myself liking this card more than Donovan Mitchell. So I'm interested to try this card out. I think he's going to be an absolute stud. This is a card that I'm legitimately excited about. No doubt about it. Tyson Chandler is seven foot with a seven through wingspan hotspots from literally everywhere. 27 Hall of Fame badges include a ton of impressive finishing. Defense is just absolutely incredible, of course. And then finish playmaking buys. He needs handles for days, but he's got everything else that's at least important for a big. Now I would add handles for days. I would use the rest of his shooting badges or of his badges on shooting, which is going to give you five other shooting badges. Now, where you want to put those five between agent three blinders, catch, claymore, dead eye, gray machine guard, up limitless range, open looks, slippery off, ball corner, specialist, spot finder. It's kind of tough, right? Because you'd like to put 10 shooting badges on him, but he can only get five. At the same time, his release is smooth and easy. He's going to be a super solid catch and shoot shooter. Remember, this card had Marcus Moore senior base, George Hill Upper on normal not that worried about it now that he has it on very quick which it was already solid on normal mj dribble style kobe escapes slightly better animations than he had previously uh with an upgraded and dribble style and now he's got a more complete badges as well still going to be that dominant inside force even better honestly but now he's going to give you more shooting ability more playmaking ability this card at the four even at the five can compete with anybody but especially at the four uh, but regardless, Tyson Chandler is legitimately one of the best free big men in the game. Regardless, like outside of honestly to Kimmy Matumbo, I think this is the best free big currently available in my team, bar none. And yes, he's only an Opal, but he is legitimately one of the very best Galaxy Opals in the entire game. This Tyson Chandler card is an absolute stud, and I am super excited to use him. Trevor Ariza is 6'8 with a 7'2 wingspan. Unfortunately, can't play the shooting guard position. I thought he'd be a shooting guard small forward. He's a small forward power forward. This is more of a versatile card than a Tobias Harris who did not have the slashing ability. Still has great shooting. Um, not an elite level playmaker, but not any worse than Ty Tobias Harris. And defensively, he's very good and very versatile. Has that 6'8 frame, uh, 97 driving dunk. Defensively, really good. 94 speed, 94 three ball. Release on very quick. Honestly, 
I didn't love his Sapphire card early in the year. But I think on very quick, the release shouldn't be bad. Curry escape, curry behind the back, d row size of John Wall's drag back. I mean, his sigs could be a little better, could be a little worse. The honest truth is, I would say this card is a slightly worse version of a guy like Lou Wall Dang or Jonathan Isaac. A versatile elite defender who's super solid offensively as well as a slasher and a shooter and all that type of stuff. Has a lot of badge completeness, but may not quite have the best, best animations. I do think that's probably basically what this Trevor Ariza card is. And that's not a bad card at all. He's not best of the best, but he's also a very good free small forward um, and he's probably the second best free small forward to me at least after that pj washington card from today at least that i can see now jeremy lynn and zion like i said i'm not that excited about these cards they are still free dark batters but jeremy lynn he's only 6'3 with a 6'5 wingspan so he doesn't have elite level size he's got gold immovable enforcer great playmaking badges great shooting badges great finishing badges like a good card fast good dunker good shooter good defender there's legitimately like 20 or 30 point guards that look like this jeremy lynn card though a lot of good short point guards with solid stats decent animations uh, but who aren't truly elite his release is not truly elite either like and at 6-3 that's a deal breaker in a, to a certain extent i think um as a whole this this jeremy lynn just is not that good i know his stats and badges look pretty good but if he had a better release i'd be a little higher on him i will say but his release is not elite and i think as a whole that does kind of hold this card back i don't know what behind the back he has it says pro harden um uh, drag back and that might he that's what he already had so i don't think it's all that good as a whole yeah i don't think this card's gonna be that incredible i'm gonna be honest with y'all jeremy lynn looks pretty pretty mediocre honestly Pajemski looks better uh Dante DiVincenzo from the previous drop looks better Donovan Mitchell looks better that's three free point guards from today that are better let alone uh, guys like Clyde and SGA and other free point guards that are still out there that have been available over the past season or so and then you get to Zion who was only going to be good if they changed his jump shot and they didn't change his jump shot so his jumper stinks i don't care that it's on very quick it's not good now he does have tray fade carry dribble style which is nice but the rest of his animations are so mid honestly like he i think he has the same animations as his previous opal it looks like besides changing that dribble style to Kyrie instead of um d book and it's just like mid really really mid this card does not look special at all on the offensive end of the court because i know his release isn't great he doesn't even have truly incredible playmaking ability no off handles for days or anything he's super complete stat and badge wise yes but he needs a better release otherwise like honestly a guy who's only six six so he's already undersized height wise at small forward yes he's got a very bulky wide player build that will help him to play bigger than that but this card's not good, man. He's not. Like, I would much rather use Trevor Ariza and PJ Washington, I think, over the Zion Williamson card. Like, it's just disappointing to see the two Dark Matters suck, because this Spark drop's actually pretty cool. The Opals are super good. It's like a deep, interesting drop. Every card is solid, but the Opals, the Dark Matters themselves are just real letdowns, and that's honestly a bit disappointing, because uh, Zion with a change release is really good. Change the base on Jeremy Lin, and he's a much better point guard. He's still not one of the best point guards in the game, but give him a better jump shot base. Change it to KCP or something, and you're cooking. It's not that hard though like it wouldn't be hard to change these bases there's 20 different good jump shots in this game i mean you don't have to give every card patty mills base or the same exact jump shots you can give him one of the 20 or 30 different jump shot bases in the game that are good and upgrade a card and that's just it's annoying to see cards like zion and jeremy lynn who could be pretty decent be wasted and instead be really disappointing so it is what it is at the end of the day i don't think it's a huge deal but it is kind of annoying so i just wanted to express my opinion but as a whole i do think the free content today is a w and i think the spark content is really good tyson chandler is a legit god squad caliber player and then other guys like ariza pajemski tobias and then even zion and jeremy lynn can be interesting fun cards usable cards in my team every card is usable which is a w so hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all Peace.